What's going on guys, this is Kedar here. So are you encountering this PS4 error code NP-34958-9? Well, today in this video, we have got the exact fix, the workarounds for this error so you can fix it on your PlayStation 4. So guys, without further ado, let me show you exact step-by-step -step process. All right, guys, so I headed over to the Twitter to check and see what's this NP-34958-9 error is all about, what it exactly means. And here is the thing, guys, many, many people are getting this error onto their playstation 4 check this out just few hours ago even on yesterday many people have got this error people are reporting all the playstation apps are locked and not accessible and it says activate primary ps4 gives error np34958-9 and cannot use the content cannot connect to servers verify the license and restoring license is not working as well so what can we really do all right guys so let me show you step by step procedure now fortunately i have came across the solution right here here workarounds that might help fixing you this error so you can check it out all the details now workaround first workaround first goes like this you can go and head over to your playstation 4 settings menu and right here into the ps4 settings menu head over to the network tab and then you can choose the setup internet connection now right over here we need to choose one important settings you can choose either your wi-fi or lan whatever connectivity that you are trying to use depending on your connection type and then when it will ask you to select IP address settings you can choose custom and right under that for DHCP host name you can select that and click on do not specify and for the DNS settings you can choose the manual option and most importantly guys you have to change this setting you can set the primary DNS to 1.1.1.1 and also you choose the secondary DNS you just type in 1.0.0.1 if you are in a different region you can choose appropriate DNS servers for your location but i think guys dns 1.1.1.1 should work flawlessly so try that first as a primary dns workaround is also suggested right here into the reddit post this fellow is getting the same exact error just four days ago since four days ago and here is the thing to fix this error you go to customs and going to automatic do not specify the option and then manual for the dns and we are going to choose the dns manually so you can set the primary dns to 1.1.1.1 and second secondary dns to 1.0.0.1 if you are in a different region give it a shot it really works and honestly there are tons and tons of people reporting that this thing exactly works like a charm this thing worked for like 95 percent of the people now if this workaround still doesn't work for you don't worry guys we have got second workaround which should work out for you as well so let me show you that now second workaround suggested by users involving managing your devices and activating account again here is what you can do so first you go to the playstation website then sign into your account navigate to the device management section and then all you need to do is divide all consoles at to your account then you can change your account password for added security and then return your ps4 and sign in once again go to account settings and activate your console as a primary device by doing this it manages to help for a lot of people now if this second still doesn't work out for you guys try this third one which is pretty simple all you need to do is you need to connect your playstation 4 to lan connection then turn off your playstation turn off your internet router wait for five minutes connect your lan cable from your router to plus station and after you have waited five minutes turn on your internet router once again and wait a couple of minutes now turn on your playstation go ahead to settings networks set up internet connection use lan cable and custom and then automatic do not specify then setting manual put the primary dns 1.1.1.1 then secondary dns 1.0.0.1 and next set automatic proxy server do not use test internet connection and this should be good enough now go to settings once again account management and then restore licenses and restoring licenses will take a couple of seconds and then finally go to settings once again and then activate your ps4 as a primary ps4 now your playstation should work fine normally which method has worked for you do let me know in the comments down below if you got any other solution do let me know that as well make sure to hit that like if you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video